welcome to Simple Sacred Home. My name is Paige and in today's video we're actually heading on a girls road trip to hit up some antique stores which I'm very excited about. So let's go grab my mom and head out for the day. So there was a couple specific things that I was looking for on this trip. I always look for art every single time but specifically on this trip I was looking for antique and vintage books as well as a vintage wire basket that's for eggs and also some kind of shelf or hook system to display my keys by the front door. I always love looking at these bowls. The ceramic bowls are great for making sourdough in, but none were a great price and or ones that I was looking for. They had one of these strainers that I've gotten in the past at the thrift store, and I really enjoyed this cute little wooden footstool, but I already have one similar that I got at the thrift store. This shelf I almost debated getting, but I would have had to install hooks on it myself and I decided to pass it. That art piece I almost got just for the frame, but I did decide to skip. It's only 18. Look at that frame. In this booth, I just loved how it was set up. I love the dark walls with the wood pieces for accents. And they had this globe. I was looking, I found a lot of globes this day. And I would love to find one for our library slash office room in the future. So these were the two books that I ended up getting. I loved the spines on these. They were really, really beautiful and will look so great on my display hutch. I also found this beautiful antique print and a child's prayer little book. This would be so beautiful in a nursery or a little kid's room. All right, and now we get on to the styling portion of this video. I thought it would be fun to show you how I actually styled the items that I picked up on this particular shopping trip. So this hutch I have in what is our library slash office space. I actually picked this up about six months ago on Facebook Marketplace, and I have big plans for it in the future. But right now I just kind of had thrown decor in there and a lot of other things had just collected on its own. So I'd love your opinions on what I should do with 
this hutch as far as the color so the color is not awful but it's definitely in not the best shape there's a lot of wear and tear on it that's not doesn't look nicely aged it just looks like it has worn off in certain places so i would love to do something with it i'm not sure if i should sand it down and restain it i don't know if i should do some kind of paint wash technique to it i'm not 100 percent sure even what color i would do with it because as you can tell the walls behind me are currently white but they're going to be turning into this green color hopefully in the very near future so it's going to be super moody in here which is what i want but i'm not sure what to do with the wood here so i'm not sure if i should paint it or if i should sand it and restain it i would love to put beadboard or some kind of shiplap on this back wall which i do plan on doing as well so hopefully i'll get to do that this summer but interested in your feedback if you have a recommendation on if i should sand it and restain it or if i should paint it or if I should leave it natural wood, let me know in the comments down below. That'd be super helpful. All right, so this process does take me quite a bit of time. You're gonna see me here moving a lot of different things around. Basically what I do is I just start with the decor that I already have and I will pull it from other rooms. I'll pull it from my bank of items that I have that don't currently have spaces. And some of the items are already on the shelf and I'm just rearranging them to try to give them a new look. I got this frame and I shared it in a thrift haul recently. I actually got this at an antique store for like $10, which was crazy, crazy good deal. And I really wanted to display it on the shelf, but it just, it was too big. It didn't work in the space. So I ended up taking that out. But yeah, this is a lot of trial and error. It's just kind of taking decor pieces putting it up on the shelf, stepping back, seeing if I like how it looks. And I did this for quite a bit of time. So like I said earlier, ideally I would like to get to a place where I have this, for the most part, filled with antique books and then just have a few little trinkets but obviously I do not have a large collection right now. These are the actual first two vintage or antique books that I found. So we're just working with what we got. I have a few other books that we gravitate towards on a regular basis. So I have those left out and then I do have a few photos as well, including the new print that I just got today. It's actually a picture. And yeah, I'm just going through and styling it up and you'll see that I switched things around several times until I got it to a place that I really liked how it looked. And another thing to know is that you're probably going to end up going through and doing this quite a bit. Uh, if you like to style shells and things like that, you might think you like it one way, but then find that you need to switch it up a little bit and that is definitely what I tend to do. So even though you saw things the way that it looked in this video, it's possible that in a couple weeks from now, it might look a little bit different because as I see it every day, I tend to move things around. So you're gonna see quite a bit of that here. I love these picnic style baskets because you can store things in them so it works as perfect storage but it looks beautiful and acts as decor as well.
I hope you guys like the final results. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe and make sure that you subscribe so that you see more antique thrifting and vintage videos in the future as well as simple living and homemaking. And I'll see you guys in the next one.